Hello! In this video, you'll learn how to use the rank.avg function in Excel 2010. For this lesson, we'll be using the Golf Scores dataset. Once your data is cleaned and formatted for analysis, you may want to make some relative comparisons, or find out how each value compares to the rest of the group. An easy comparison to make is to rank the values from largest to smallest, or vice versa. The rank.avg function allows you to find out how a particular value ranks in a reference list of data. Unlike rank.eq, multiples of a value are not given the rank closest to 1. Instead, they are given the average of their rankings across positions in the distribution. The rank.avg function takes the following form. Enter the function name rank.avg. Then, inside the parentheses are three arguments. The number is the cell reference to the number you want ranked. Ref is the reference distribution you want the number compared to. In other words, we want to know what rank does the number occupy in the reference list. Be careful when specifying the ref argument, since this will often need to be an absolute reference. The last argument is order. This argument is optional. If omitted or set to zero, Excel ranks the values assuming that the largest value is ranked first. The next value below the largest would be ranked second, and so on. If order is set to one, then Excel ranks the values assuming the smallest or lowest value is ranked one. The next value above the smallest would be ranked 2, and so on. Let's begin by ranking the scores of several golfers in the Professional Golf League Championship Series. For right now, we'll only rank the first 10 player scores. Click on cell I2 and enter the following header. Rank. Now, in cell I3, enter the following formula. Equals rank.avg open parentheses h3 comma h3 to h12 we'll make this an absolute reference with respect to rows close parentheses now copy the formula down to cell i12 You can see that Excel has ranked the players in descending order, so that the player with the highest score is ranked 2.5, and the player with the lowest score is ranked 10th. There are several players who have the same score. All of these players are given the same rank. However, unlike the rank.eq function, these players are given the average of their positions in the reference list. For example, there are four players with 284 strokes each. They occupy the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th positions in the reference list. Their rank is the average of these four positions, or 6.5. We see the same thing happen with the four players who have 285 strokes each. These four players hold the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th positions. The average of these ranks is 2.5. Just like rank.eq, rank.avg provides the option to rank the scores in ascending order as well, so that the player with the lowest score is given first place. Click on cell J2 and enter the header rank-a for ascending order. Now, in cell J3, enter the following formula, equals rank.avg open parentheses, h3, comma, h3 to h12, and we'll make this an absolute reference with respect to rows, comma, 1, close parentheses. Adding the optional argument for order set to 1 will rank the scores in ascending order, with the lowest score being first. Now copy this formula down to cell J12. 
you can see that the player with the lowest score, Ross Melton, is ranked first. We now have four players tied with 284 strokes. Their positions are 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th, making their average rank 4.5. There are also four players tied with 285 strokes. Their positions are 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th, making their average rank 8.5. This has been an example of using the rank.avg function in Microsoft Excel. I'll see you in the next video.